Let me ask you finally, Rachel, what, what kind of advice would you give to women who are thinking of doing this the way you were um, back away? What, what, what would you say? I think I would tell them to make sure that there's investment across the board um, in doing this. I think that it's not only um, a personal investment for you as a person and what you go through physically. Um, it's not really that much more demanding than a, a typical pregnancy, yeah. but it is, it is more demanding. I mean, it's not, you know, um, there, there's more that's, that's asked of you. Um, and you know, the medications are, are a big deal. And I think that, um, so not only personally, are you okay with it? Is your family okay with it? Do you have support? Right. Like, I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have my husband to help me with the injections, you know, to do that all by yourself for 10 weeks and then some is a lot. And so that's really helpful. Um, and then to just surround, make sure that you have support externally as well, mm -hmm. um, in your family, in your friends, um, even if not all of your family members are entirely supportive, making sure that you do have a lot of supportive people who are going to check in with you and really show interest and concern and care, because it really does make a big difference, um, because this isn't the same as having your own baby and having people be excited that you're yeah. adding another baby to your family, it's very different. And so um, it's just really important to make sure that you have support across the board um, to before you embark upon this. That's great advice. <laughs>